Question 1. So, just draw your little diagram gathering your thoughts of the direction of the initial and final speeds for both P and Q. So obviously they're travelling towards each other to start with. So uh, U is to the right, U is to the left for Q, to the right for P. And then obviously after the collision they're both going away from each other. So V is to the left for P and uh, V is to the right for Q. Now I'm just uh, resolving to the right. So any anything to the right is positive, anything going left is negative. So conservation of momentum, they're the two momentums before the collision and they're the two after the collision and then it's really just cancelling out the M's and the U's rearranging to find K being 5. Now for part B the um, size of the impulse is uh, mass times the change in speed so um, so again just be careful uh, with the directions here. I've done it from the point of view of P and I'm re going to resolve for P to the left really here because it just makes more positive really so remember it's the change in speed so I'm looking for my V minus my U because I'm resolving to the left my V is now 5 over 2 U whereas my U is minus 5 U so I'm minusing a minus which is a plus giving me the impulse being uh, 15 MU over 2 uh, if you look at it from the point of view of Q which of course you can do you get the same answer 15 MU over two.